In a sea of stress, more and more people are turning to Xanax to treat their anxiety. Also known as Alprazolam, it's the 11th most prescribed product in the U.S., but you don't need a doctor to get it. I first started using Xanax when I was 19 years old, just something someone had at a party. I took it. I blacked out the very first time I took it. 22-year-old Nick, who asked that we not show his face or use his real name, is a recovering Xanax addict. I was taking probably 12 to 15 pills a day sometimes. In addition to getting them at parties, he says he would also get prescriptions for hundreds of Xanax pills from doctors. All you have to do is walk into a doctor's office and say you have anxiety. And at least that's what I did, and it was written to me. No questions asked? No questions asked. Nick says he knew he had to kick the drug after he took Xanax, blacked out while driving, and seriously injured three people. It's really sobering to know that my actions caused innocent people great bodily injury. The doctors warn weaning off the drug has serious risks too. It's so much easier to take people off heroin. I'd rather take 100 people off heroin than one person off Xanax because I know that they're going to have a year of withdrawal. Addiction specialist Dr. Jerry Calloway considers Xanax one of the most dangerous drugs he deals with. You take away a suppressant drug, the system overshoots, and that increased elect electrical activity in your brain is extremely uncomfortable and it can kill you with seizures or strokes. In addition, he says, Xanax can be deadly when combined with other drugs. Had three young people die recently of taking uh, Xanax uh, along with uh, either a long or short acting opiate. A spokeswoman for Pfizer, the manufacturer of Xanax, says when prescribed and taken as indicated, Xanax has a well-established safety profile and is an important treatment option that has benefited millions of patients. But between 2004 and 2008, the Centers for Disease Control reported an 89% increase in the number of emergency room visits nationwide related to the non-medical use of Xanax and other drugs in its class. According to Drug Site, which reviews the FDA's adverse events database, people using Xanax reported more than 11,000 adverse events between 2004 and March of this year. They include 83 deaths, 107 completed suicides, and 100 comas. But addiction experts say you might be surprised who's abusing Xanax. It might be a stay-at-home mom or a working mom, and in an attempt to deal with the overwhelm of that. They go to the doctor, they talk about the anxiety, they talk about the overwhelm, the doctor prescribes them Xanax, and next thing you know, now they're addicted to it. The FDA does require a warning to patients that Xanax can become addictive. Now there's a petition asking the FDA to add a stronger and more visible safety alert. I think it's overdue. No doubt. Nick, who's now gone 100%. six months without Xanax, has a warning of his own for those considering experimenting with the drug. At all costs, stay away from it. There's nothing good about it. Nothing good can come out of Xanax. Marianne Favreau, NBC.